And with that note, hello and welcome to uh, to Long Live the Queen. We always knew I was a queen, god damn it. <laughs> Melon would never admit to that. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost home. Wait, hold on, hold on. Who wants to do the voice of the, the people? Who, okay, who wants to be the king? Because obviously I'm the I'm the queen, the new queen. <laughs> that that that. <laughs> <laughs> God damn quinceaneras. <laughs> This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. Easy for you to say! <laughs> Maids. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. Um, you know, I am the type of person who would just say I've played this before. <laughs> Should, uh, you know what? Fine. Tutorial. You'll be controlling Elodie, but... The almost queen of Nova, she tries to prepare for coordination. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. She, the skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Melody's not Melody's not very happy right now. No, no, what? She's Princess Melody now. Congratulations, I slipped up, and that's how this is going to carry on for the rest of the game. <laughs> Congrats, Melon, you're a princess. The mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details. Wow. This is kind of accurate, minus be afraid. <laughs> she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression or strongest emotion with that be afraid. Okay. Uh, current mood affects her ability to learn. Um... It will give her a bonus to some skills and penalty to others. Let's look at the skills. Holy Christ, I forgot how many there are. Skills are broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups, the three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Okay, normally she earns two points of skill. So she says history, she'll earn two points times five days. Um, so it's ten points. Okay. Because she has a penalty to the social skill set conversation. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. Uh, she'll earn two minus two. Okay. However, she has a plus one to the expression. Peace. Study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill that you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than normal. All these bonuses and penalties will change when Elodie's move. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get an idea. And the class <laughs> the classes screen breaks down the skill set. How much tutorial is there? <laughs> okay.
Okay. Okay. So, as usual, Melon is very depressed and afraid. Yeah. So depressed. All I have is my boarding school uniform. Okay. Let's see what classes we'd want to take. <laughs> oh, wait. We should look at our skills. So... I can wield magic later. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, I tabbed out. I'm, I'm smart. Hold on. Just there. Less chance of tabbing out. Because I thought, I, I saw the recording software buttons, and like, I thought it was like, ooh, button. Don't worry, I didn't fuck up anything this time. <laughs> um. Yeah, keep an eye on these. Um, classes. I want to, uh, let's see. I'm gonna do this. I feel like she needs a. a, a... <laughs> Look, the way I. Okay, the way I'm looking at it, right? She needs a loyal companion that she can hug onto and snuggle right now in her, t in her time of need. Double dogs. We should live stream this, honestly. Like, like, yeah, just I feel like this game works better as potentially a live stream one. <laughs> um. Okay, Melon, when you're depressed and you want to express yourself, do you decorate, play an instrument, or sing? <laughs> wow. I was trying to make up for the fact that we didn't do Falcons. <laughs> okay. Done. Dogs increase to 15. You discuss the nature of beauty, looking around at landscapes, objects, and people, and comparing their aesthetic elements. What's all that noise outside? Who's there? Oh, it's my cousins, and my aunt and uncle. <laughs> Darling, we're so terribly sorry to hear about your mama Fidelia. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Melon, if you want to cover this one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lottie! <laughs> Hi, Lottie! I haven't seen you in ages. Are you staying on? Yeah! Bobby said we're here all month. <laughs> Maybe I'll have some time to talk later. Now that you finish finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Do we want to... So, should we visit our, our smoker on... <laughs> Oh. Uh. I love this room. It's so much bigger than Bye Back Home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like 
this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother always worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> I understand. I'm really not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. Okay, now she's terrified. Oh, no, never mind, it's balanced out. <laughs> Look at how concerned. <laughs> like, current mood afraid. We could get a 0 0.15 to our animal handling. That is so specific. <coughs> That's not how math works, though. Okay. Hmm. Alright, um, you know what, we need to up your, your, uh, flexibility. Actually, no, we need to up your reflexes, you're a cat, after all. <laughs> I'm implying that you're a little slow. <laughs> Alright. Week two. <laughs> you learn about dog grooming and the most common diseases and injuries that dogs suffer from. <laughs> the teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. What's the commotion outside? Father, what's going on? Oh. I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. <laughs> Did we become a Spanish drama? <laughs> what? I am a lumen, as was she, and like every lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Well, God. <laughs> that is what a grand princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Hmm. So, all right, on the one feeling, on the one hand, I feel like if we arrest her, that's going to actually be, have really negative consequences. I don't, if we send her away, I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god, is there a route in which your father stabs you? <laughs> For being such an idiot. <laughs> uh, hold on, we have to put this on pause. I need to help with the baby. Y you two talk this over, I'll be back.
The child has been maintained. All right, what have we decided on? What? But we agree that that's the worst option. Like, Rosh, what do you say? All right, send her away. Oh. As you wish, I will return to my dushi until you call for me. That's cold. You know, I'm going to talk to my father about what has just occurred. Dad, what really happened to mom? We've ruined everything. <laughs> On the plus side, though, our animal handling is just going to go through the roof. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Let's 
That's dumb. What if I wanted to specialize specifically in dogs? <laughs> Let's see. You know what? Let's learn some intellectual stuff this this time. I'm thinking. <laughs> so, Melon, I'm gonna... I, I feel like we should go with the obvious. <laughs> uh, strategy, naval strategy, or logistics? Okay. <laughs> And then, in the evening, we shall train our war falcons. <laughs> you learn that the sea is not something you hold, it is something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures your free travel while denying it to your enemies. You visit the mute. <laughs> you visit... You visit the muse and learn about the different kinds of trainable birds, the preferred nesting sites, behavior, and food. He loves me! He loves me not! Bonnie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. Me too. You gather your skirts and prepare to sit down, when all of a sudden, a hissing noise alerts you to a hidden danger. A snake! Charlotte, don't move! You grab. Oh. Ow! Snake slows in the light, a strange tingling sensation. That's the milk vapor that poisons it! I don't feel too good. Hard! How'd you do that? I don't know how I do it. I just can. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. You don't think it's freaky. You don't tell, will you? Of course not. They're just lucky you were here. Girls! What's going on out here? I heard yelling. <laughs> that thing! You saw a snake, but it got away. A snake! That's it. Charlotte, pack your things. We're going back to Merva. It's not safe here. We're gonna buy your, your cousin a chandelier while we're at it. Oh, get me some more menthols, would you? <laughs> ah! I actually do that voice a lot. Ten court. Um, we totally bypassed uh, death. Sneak it. Father won't like it if he finds out. Or are we afraid? <sighs> right. After after that. We should probably up our, our agility again. Because <laughs> apparently snakes are now a thing that they've introduced <laughs> to our little world. And we can't learn more military today. Um. So we will up your skill with the falcons. See. Uh, no wait, that's not uh agility there. Reflexes. You practice with a jump rope to increase the speed of your footwork, and then you practice solo you practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and your eye to react. So had we done this a week earlier, we would have been fine. You may now play sports on the weekends. You learn about the fragility of hunting birds and the years of training necessary to develop mastery. Luckily, your royal falconer does most of the hard work for you. Hey, 
The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Henry and Sara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. Seems like we get more servants every day. That's concerning. Hmm. Walk in the garden. I want to walk in the garden, but I feel like we're tempting the snake again. <laughs> So we have, so we have no chance that we're going to be just randomly mauled. Should we talk to our father? Do we want to just go for a walk in the garden? Well, I'm asking Melon. We're going for a walk in the garden. A walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. Why are we still scared? <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. Just a double check. Hmm. I want to learn more about warfare, but like we, it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of hard. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna up your flexibility. Um. And we'll balance that with some horses. Yeah, no, they're terrifying. <laughs> you learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body, then to practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints, twisting, shifting, and rotating. <laughs> you walk around the stables. <laughs> you walk around the stables, meeting the royal horses, learning about their breeds and names of different parts of their anatomy. One of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. You have a Duke of Sedna? <laughs> no, my my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Talas. They they have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of, deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace! Something sparkly will make me feel better. Wow, I feel like a I feel like a dick. <laughs> I don't know. We should be willful. Royal, oh, hold on, wait. We have negatives in Royal Demeter, damn it! <sighs> hold on, that's a little log. Oh, no, no, we, we don't want to do that. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the game really quick. Uh. Blep. Um, yeah. You know, we're going to double down to agility this week. Um, you want to learn some dance? Dance. And... 
we'll do your flexibility as well. Actually, no, we'll do it in the opposite order. Because you need to you need to limber up before you start dancing, otherwise you get cramps. <laughs> you practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. You practice bounding motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. Your Royal Highness, I would speak with you. What is it? Why do you talk so slow? Your mother wielded the power of a lumen, as have the kings and queens of Nova before her. Now that she is gone, that responsibility falls to you. Her crystal of power is now yours. My father said I shouldn't get involved in magic. It's it's like it's like cocaine, right? You you start and just you can't stop. Come on, you know. If you don't, who will defend the king the domain if the krakens rise again? Specifically the krakens. There's no other type of monstrosity. I've seen signs of the future. Danger is coming. But I can teach you to control your powers. But first you must seize your birthright and become a lumen. I'll trust the crazy cocaine lady. This is the only way. How do I do that? You must find the royal crystal. Speak to your father. He will know where it is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some good magic. <laughs> what? It, 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 cocaine jokes. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? Can I have it? But it's mine! Aha! We we are willful. <clears throat> okay. What what do we have upgrades to? We still can't do anything with a royal demeanor. Okay. Ooh, but we get bonuses to military. Okay. So there's two. Important ones that I feel like we need right now. We need internal affairs. And we need resist magic. On. Intrigue. And, well, the reason being is that they presented those plot points with, to us. Uh, where? Oh, so I have to... I can't do resist. Shit. Shit. Okay, back to military then. <laughs> Logistics? Alright. Until you have children of your own, your maternal... Little uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. So we don't trust them. <laughs> you learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how they will remain edible. As you're waking up the stairs, or as you're walking up the stairs, maid comes running. <laughs> maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. You swiftly step aside and let her pass. Sweet. But there was no elegance to it. Yeah, it could have fucked us up. <laughs> right, so here's here's the problem. I have to go AFK again. Uh, we're not taking too long, are we, Roach? You're, you're not like feeling too stressed, are we? You? 
Um, like five minutes. I just have to make a drink. It's probably gonna be less than that even. Alright, one moment. Just gotta send a text. You realize this is being recorded. Um, let's visit Celine. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen. He's hiding it somewhere. What do I do? I will search for it. In the meantime, help yourself to the cocaine on the table. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> she brings out a black bowl filled with water and stares into its steps. You look as well, but see nothing but your own reflection. The crystal is kept in the treasury under God. They have been ordered to keep it out, keep you out. You must find a way past this obstacle. Like what? Use your skills to convince them to stand aside, or else dispose of them. What? Their lives are a small price to pay for the safety of your domain. You must have that crystal. 
Is she serious? She wants me to kill my own guards? Try to reach the crystal. And if you fail, speak to me again. I will help you do what needs to be done. Right. So, what I'm hearing... Let's see. <laughs> Apparently. I'm trying to... How do we up our royal demeanor? I know, I don't know what mood puts me in one that gives me a royal demeanor. Let's see. We're going to up our knowledge. Because I'm I'm worried of an outside coup. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line, originally asked her mother to, for title up to the Dushi. However, no one could verify her lineage as a compromise her mother created her brother Duke of Merva. The last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother of the current Duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as a life mate of the old Duke of Ursul, then broke that off only a year later. He retired into seclusion, died still unwed. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire ties with the domain of Talus. Your Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal linens which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 lassi to assemble the metal. So he wants to make a typewriter. Oh. We're not inter- It didn't even give me the option?! Right. I'm not gonna bother with the treasury just yet. Um, I'm going to Yeah. I think I need to get... I need to, like, try and get rid of her... Okay, a 10 service. Let's see what that does. 10 service... Oh. So we're less scared now. Because I feel like... I feel like it's our being afraid that's screwing us over slightly. Oh. Uh. But on the plus side, our internal <laughs> intrigue is up through the roof. <laughs> that is our only form of expression. We have no royal demeanor whatsoever. At least we're very confident in what we're doing. <sighs> Do you doubt the queen? Do you doubt the queen? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Swords, archery, or pole arms. None of them. 
No, pole arms actually have advantage over swords. We'll learn pole arms. All right, foreign intelligence. The main of Shanja across the Sea to the West has been subtly increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as the most navigable rivers. The political disruption in Tombula has, <laughs> in recent years has caused disruption in their chocolate production, which is up to the benefit of Nova, particularly the Dushi of Kegel. You learn about a variety of long weapons from the quarterstaff to the spear to the hail burning blade. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never come back. Thank you. You're an asshole, though. <laughs> Actually, Melon, you know what? You voice this guy. He sounds A, fabulously gay, and B, um, like he's attempting to do uh, Linda from uh, Bob's Burgers. Are you kidding me? I guess so. <laughs> At least we got the military thing. Should we try to negotiate or prepare for battle? Actually, wait, we don't have anything for negotiation. We're not that smart. So we should prepare for battle. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, wait. Hello. It's your guy. You were using some weird, fabulously gay country voice. <laughs> It was a gift to the Duke of Sedna. Oh. What sort of arrangements? <laughs> Dear Jared. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't realize. We're not very bright. <laughs> hmm. Should we visit the treasury yet? Fail the check on what? Skills. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are the most stubborn human being <laughs> on the planet. Alright, you know what, we'll do one more, because we're, like, almost at an hour. And then, like, I think I'm gonna take a break. Yeah. That is true. Um... <laughs> I've managed to bullshit my way through. <laughs> how, how how quickly did you think I was going to die out of curiosity?
You didn't you didn't expect it to double. No, I mean like time wise. That's <laughs> <laughs> you know what, we're gonna learn some naval strategy, because I feel like that- I, I feel like that, um... Wait, that's medicine. Um, and we're going to practice our pole arm some more. We'll be the, the princess of spears. You study different kinds of ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You practice walk. <laughs> you practice walking while carrying a long weapon, getting the feel for its size and weight, and learning to maneuver without banging into anything unintentionally. You receive a report on the outcome of the battle against the Ixenites. You succeed in driving them out of Murray, but it cost you almost a full battalion of soldiers a great deal of material. You lost 1,018 soldiers. The Duke of Murray will be happy, but we could have done better. So I should have I. I know why it's my fault, but they're like I would have failed any other check. So Yeah. What's tool tips? Oh, is it just give me the automatic? Or it tells me automatically what uh, each one will do. Yeah, but I honestly kinda prefer this. So I don't have to keep, like, hovering over and double-checking. <laughs> we could just go all the way and make myself even more... <laughs> Actually, no, let's do sports. I know, but we need to up... We need to get this at least here. Oh, but I'll become depressed again. Here, we'll do that. Sitting on court is not fun at all, but it pleases your father may be important for your future. Still willful. Still not enough to, <laughs> to do royal demeanor or economics. <laughs> is here. It has a minus two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be massively depressed. <laughs> yeah, that'll be our... Yeah. It's plus one depressed, plus uh, to pressured, and then plus to, two to wielding, or yielding. So, um, I feel like this will be a highly educational one, or week. Wow, okay. You know what? I'm preparing for the next time that that comes up. Um, I know, but I don't know if I want to is the thing. Like, I'd, li I'd like to spread it out. However, there is some stuff here that we could use. So, in particular, I feel like flattery is going to get us somewhere. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. You learn it's important to make eye contact with saying nice things about someone. Let's do a, a, a K thong.
What should we do? Should we send hunters? Wow. So, we just let her eat people. Hot dog stuff. Lars, the Duke of Sedna, will be arriving next week for official visit. Right. I'm already more depressed. How f I don't want to up my depression anymore. Yeah. It'll be my dot. But on the plus side, it will have changed my thing, so maybe I'll be... No, but I don't think I'll be able to do... Do we want we want to take that? Alright. Even though the weekend hold up a shoulders, but you feel better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are We're <laughs> We can get royal demeanor now though, but we have uh, well, yeah, but I mean, it, it's better than minus two, which just completely negates it. It is. I'm not actually going to do it, but the point is, we're making progress. <laughs> we're getting closer to it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, we should... Okay, um, so we'll just double down in Gaunting this week. This will be one of the rare times where I actually double down in economics. <laughs> you brush up on basic ac mathematics with the help of an abacus. You study the manipulation of larger quantities through direct calculations using written numbers instead of an abacus. Who the fuck is this dreamboat? Ah, your highness. What a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. D fuck you. I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. I was so pleased to hear that you accepted my humble offering. A jewel for a jewel, but you are the more precious. I hope this is only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. A union between us would bring stability to both our people. He really does want to marry me. I'd say politely decline, but I feel like this is going to end badly. <laughs> Not because I think he'd just kill me outright. I feel like I need some kind of skill bonus in terms of talking to people. <laughs> I like how you're doing it in that way of, like, I know the answer, I just want to fuck with you. I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> okay, tell... Tell me... Okay. I need to let him down gently. And that Oh wow. I see. I regret the misunderstanding. I'm screwed. I'm fucking dumb. <sighs> Alright, let's Okay, hold on, let's let's go this way. We're angry and willful. 
Well, you know what that calls for? More angry number crunching! <laughs> oh, wait, but we can up our conversation, too. No. I mean, yeah, but... Court manners. You study money lending and controversies involving in charge involved in charging interest. According to the Druids, one should always return more than one is loaned, or else the debt gave no value to the world. <laughs> you review the correct ratings for guests according to rank and extend your hand and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. This is just going to be one of those automatic ones, isn't it? Melon, uh, go ahead. Kavan, thank you. sister no nope, it's too late you've committed is she all right what do you have to say for yourself it's just as it is! Them devils killed my brother and broke my mom's heart! <laughs> Lied to her they did, but she went to see why he even would did not come back. Said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He weren't the only one neither. I read mean, ten years for my chance to give it my own back. That's justice! Are you kidding me? Oh, partial success. This might have something to do with the last Duke of Mead. He was involved in all sorts of scams. Um. What? Honestly, I want to either imprison her or put her to work. Uh, no, executing is going to go badly. I'm gonna flip a coin. I'm gonna flip a fucking coin. Heads, head. Tails put her to work. Thank you. Alright. It's heads. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, lady. But she's clearly too guilty. Her life is forfeit. She'll be hanged in public as a turn. You'll not have me! Oh. In the court dress, you are unarmed. You go for a weapon, only find a heavy golden ornament, which you hurl in her direction. Your personal guard steps into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on the carpet. Get that out of here! Put on display so that everyone sees what happens to criminals. Look. Look. I'm angry, okay? This. Let's go for it. And we're willful again! <laughs> I 
I just don't understand how that's an archery check. I mean, it might be a bowling check. Really? You think so? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna... Fuck <sighs> <laughs> off. I, I'm preparing for war. You study the effects of battle, stress on troops, and how morale can turn the tide of battle. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation in making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. You study the kinds of equipment that soldiers need available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, bandages, and different tools to repair anything damaged. You study different kinds of transport, animals, wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. You even locked a new outfit. As you are walking in the garden... You hear a strange sound and look up to see it's an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. An owl flying in the air, but in broad daylight? That's unusual. I wonder if something attacked it. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. Thank you for seeing me, your highness. I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Lordy, lordy! Really? Really? Give me an option, damn it! <laughs> a ten court. Sweet! <laughs> so I can... Okay. Might, um... Okay, I'm I'm up to suggestions. What are we up this time? <laughs> what is that? Is that? Hold on. Is that? Oh, it is a chart. <laughs> okay. Naval strategy. You study different kinds of ships and their speed, maneuverability, uh, and standard complement of weapons. You learn about the requirement for all civilized sailors to rescue the crew of a sinking ship, even an enemy. You get comfortable in the water splashing around holding your breath to go under. Remember the festival the good lady is approaching. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I stepped on your toes. Continue. I, I'm in the zone, I'm sorry. <sighs> the grand ball! There will be dancing. Oh, 
What do you mean not safe? I like my outfit here. It's from Brittany. He went to, I went to school with her, but she's a couple of years older than me. Her mother's the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently her uncle Kavan has been acting strangely lately and shouting his shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have anything to suggest to her. Yeah. Okay. Um... You <laughs> we should. That is true. The responsibility for their lives weighs heavily on your shoulders. There are approximately nine battalions and one platoon under your direct command. We're still pissed. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but I kind of want to uh, go to the um, the thing, like the the fancy gala. Like, well, no, he said we could think about it. Oh, okay, but I have to go to the gala. Well, my my point being is let let's up our dancing. You practice walking on the arm of a partner and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping your eyes closed. You practice different partner dance positions, closely held at a distance and non-contact, and the appropriate hand placement for each. You have unlocked a new outfit. You begin practicing dance steps and timed music, quick and slow, turning and weaving. Hmm. I feel like not going also is equally as dangerous. You want to leave the parade? Yeah, no, we, we we don't stand a chance. Um, you want to lead the parade, or you want to not go? I'm asking you. You're the you're the queen here. Okay, you got heads? I'm afraid I'm going to be the best parade leader ever! You prepare your best gown for the occasion and walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. At the end of the route, you turn to the priestess. You help the priestess turn over the earth with a new tree to be planted. Then the new life is blessed and all tens join in song. Procession regroups to return to the castle. So we lived! Yes! Um, I like how sports just makes me angry now. I'm, I'm just gonna attend service.
We're going back. We're going back to military. <laughs> oh, I thought that was last week. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> I can't take it seriously. <laughs> All right. So, this is the day, then, that we're going to practice our weaponry. Okay, fair. You take a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. You learn how to twist and wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. <laughs> Go! You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. And that's when the assassin shows up. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Seeing yourself reflected in somebody's eyes makes you want to run away. <laughs> After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but look in the eyes, his eyes is so sad. Bitch, I don't even know, man. <laughs> you look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whoever you want, and you will not be denied. Hmm... I'm going to get someone about my age. <laughs> you approach L Linley, the second son of the Duke of Kegel. He's about two years older than you and he was always nice to you at school. He bows to you with great courtesy and begin you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, you knew his steps like part of you, now every move is a mystery. You tutor and dance, of course, and your part as has your partner, and is simple enough to move through the motions without mishap. Between the dances, there's time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. During a lull in the music, Vanian, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. Oh, this was the fabulously uh, gay uh, countryman. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you see the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwinnell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No, Brienne. She said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching his duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt, your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, never being so close by. It's nice... Oh. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with family and friends, isn't it? 
that was a sense magic check fail, and being a DM, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Let's see. Let's let's just play with our toys. <laughs> I mean, fresh. Holy crap! Let's take advantage of this. All right, this is officially going to be the last week that we do, and then and then like because I feel like we've just covered a lot of ground here. So let's see classes. So I f <laughs> do we do we just up all military and see how that goes. Let's see. We'll do logistics in the evening. And we'll start off with strategy. Because we already have plenty of naval knowledge. You learn about how units m you reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weaknesses. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offense and defense. You may now tour the barracks on the weekends. Like, oh, okay, so I think we could only do it while we had the outfit on. <laughs> you learn about the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them, and then those people and animals also need to be fed and equipped. You learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands, and friendly civilians may not stay friendly for odd. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm, we, you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Who wants to do this one? Actually, Roche, we'll give you this one. I've been giving Melon a lot of voices. Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? I'm going with a false flattery. We're, we're sarcastic. We're moody. Good afternoon, Countess. My would like to press you have. Putting them on display for any particular reason? Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. She gives a little wave and exits. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. You keep cutting out near the ends of some of these. You cut out about she's a nice woman. She wants something more. There have been any problems so far. Isn't that what I have agents for? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah, it's either Assassins or Noble Plus, because I've been doing rather well with Foreign Affair. Which do you think I should go with? I can deal with any problems that come up, but as long as I'm here to deal with them, it's Assassins I'm worried about. Hmm. I, we're not doing more punishment. I don't want to be that ruler. Look, I've let you guys have those two. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking more training or more guards. Now, more guards usually sounds like a good idea, but numbers isn't always great. So let's actually... Yeah, let's do more training. There's so many things I need to learn in so little time. Thanks, Dad. Let's see, what am I how am I feeling? Um Yeah, instead of ang uh let's lower angry. I mean it's not gonna move it's not gonna matter in the long run apparently, but This is what we gotta deal with, ladies and gentlemen. We're because we are going to become a subtle dictator. Well, remember, we're saving. Right, we're stopping for now. Blub, blub. <laughs>